Hi, my name is Prasad. I'm a senior principal technical marketing manager at Red Hat, and welcome to another topic in the AI 101 series. So we're going to look at what is a machine learning model. In the context of machine learning, a model could mean two things. One, it's the algorithm itself, or it could mean the output of the algorithm. Let me clarify that a little bit more. So with traditional software, what you have is an input that basically goes through your code or the software or the program, and then it gives you the output. But with machine learning, what we have is the input and then the output. Now, you're trying to find out what is the pattern that could give the output given the input. To find that out, we basically use an algorithm that produces the pattern. Now, this is not just any algorithm, but more like statistical algorithms. And this pattern that's produced is also called the model. So what do you do with this? Now, once we have this, this model, now any new input that you have, you can feed this into the model and that will give you a new output. So this is what is called like prediction or inference technically. So you have a data set and then you want you want to find out like what could be the output for a new input. Let me explain this more with uh, a data set. Let's say like we have data set on a on a like taxi fares where you have the distance traveled and what was the total fare or cost? Let's say like we have. Now, for anybody having access to this data, we would understand that like for the distance travel, like five, 10, 15, 20, and 25, you know what, what would the total cost for the fare ride would be. Now, if you want to like predict the cost for a new data, we need to understand what could give the total cost given the distance. So typically you start with like visualizing the data where you plot graph. Let's see. Now let me plot the data points here. Now I'll probably use a different color. Now we can clearly see that that there's almost a linear relationship between the distance traveled and the cost uh, associated with it. So here, like what we would do is we have the distance t and the cost. Now if we feed this into a statistical algorithm that is linear regression. Now this is a very, very simple model that would basically give us the, the pattern. In, which, in this case, it would be um, cost would be twice the distance plus five. Now, how did it come, with the, come up with this? Well, internally, a linear regression model would use the equation for a straight line And all it does is it takes this equation and tries to fit it to this data and says like, what could be the likely value of 
these uh, parameters like M and P. So let me find the value of these two parameters or in other terms called as weights and say like now the cost would be twice the distance plus five. So now for somebody who wants to say like, okay, I'm going to travel like a hundred miles and it's going to say like cost is equal to twice the distance plus five. Now it's going to say like, okay, your cost is going to be 205. Now, this is a very, very simple model where you're feeding in the input output and getting the pattern. Now, I've written the pattern here as cost is equal to 2D plus 5. But how does it really look internally for a computer? So, this would internally be stored in a file, which for could, for example, be in a binary format or in other different formats. And what this file would have is nothing but the weights of the model. Let's say like here, M is equal to two, like B is equal to five. So now like, this is how it's represented internally. So if you go back to the output of an algorithm, it's nothing but the pattern stored in a file format, which could be binary or a different format and with the associated weights. Now, because this is a very, very simple model, like linear regression, what I'm storing here is like a weights. But as the models get more and more complicated, let's say like all I have here is like five data points with two columns. But in reality, you could have like bigger and bigger data. For example, like that's when you need much more complex models going from classical machine learning models to all the way like deep learning, like uh, foundation models and so forth. So coming back to our original question, so how, how do we identify when you're talking about an algorithm or the output of the algorithm? So if you hear somebody say, talk about like train, tune, or optimize a model, they're really talking about the algorithm or the statistical uh, algorithm underneath the model. Or when you hear, start hearing about like, save the model, load the model, deploy, or like serve the model, they're basically talking about the output of the algorithm, which is nothing but the model in a file format. So, Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more interesting videos uh, on AI and machine learning.